Hello everyone, welcome to the intro video of my Selenium Locators video course. Before understanding what is Selenium and what are locators, we have to first understand what is manual testing. Manual testing is nothing but a person directly sitting before the computer and manually checking whether the application functionality is working as expected or not. So here we don't use any tools. Instead, directly the person will be testing the application guys. For example, this person is verifying the login functionality of the Facebook application. Let's say in that case, this person will manually sit before this computer using his eyes and hands. Okay. He will open the Facebook application in the computer manually. He will browse the application manually in any browser. He will open some Facebook application. Then he will navigate to the login page. Then he will, he will enter the username into the username field and password into the password field and manually click on the login button and he will visually check whether the application is getting logged in or not after providing the valid credentials if the application is pro is kind of logging in then he will pass the test if the application is not logging in even after he manually enters the valid credentials and clicks on login button then he will fail the test and report a bug this is how the manual testing is done in real time guys okay here we don't use any tools but the person will directly perform the testing now let's move to the automation testing in automation testing in place of the person the automation tool will perform the testing okay the person will not be there guys the automation tool will perform the testing so the person will create some automation code and and give it to this automation tool then this automation tool will replace this person on his behalf this particular automation tool will perform the testing. So how can an automation tool perform the testing guys? Whatever the code that is developed by this person, okay, all the instructions will be taken by this automation tool and based on the instructions available in the developed code, okay, the automation tool will perform the testings like, testing like it will own, it, it by itself will open the application, it by itself will browse to the login page, it will itself by enter the username and password and click on the login buttons and it will confirm whether the application has successfully logged in or not also okay and finally it will pass or fail the test case this is all done by the automation tool guys on behalf of the person this is known as automation testing here automation tools are used in automation testing whereas in manual testing there will not be any tools but the person will directly test the application now what is selenium Selenium is one of the test automation tools that are available in the market, guys. Okay. So there are many tools available in the market and Selenium stands out. Okay. Out of them. It's very popular and most used uh, test automation tool in the market, guys. Lot of projects and lot of people are using the Selenium over other test automation tools. That's why it's famous and popular in the market. So Selenium is a test automation tool which will replace the person and test on his behalf to save his time right so now let's understand locators which is a required topic okay in this video course i am going to deal completely about locators guys after explaining what is selenium all the introduction topics about selenium okay i will switch to these locators in this current video course and i am going to explain this locators concept in very detailed and practical and solution oriented way but before moving there what exactly is locators and why we have to learn as part of selenium Selenium is by default blind guys. That means Selenium cannot locate the elements on the web pages. Cannot see. Selenium cannot see the buttons or checkbox options or any other UI elements on the web pages. So it's kind of blind. It cannot locate and do some operations. Okay. So what exactly will find or locate the elements? We have to use something known as locators. Okay. Locators are the one which are required for locating the elements on the web pages like buttons, checkbox options and all. So many people will do mistake guys of learning selenium first before learning locators that's not recommended guys so i recommend everyone to learn the locators in detail first and when you are very good at locators then you have to switch to selenium okay without learning locators it's not recommended to learn selenium guys eventually again you will face a lot of problems okay if you actually learn locators before learning selenium your journey of learning selenium will be very smooth guys and you will enjoy your journey okay that's what i that's why i recommend locate learning locators before learning selenium and the selenium and as selenium 
cannot locate the UL mints directly. It will take help of these locators in locating the UL mints. Okay, as you can see in this diagram, guys, Selenium is blind and it cannot locate the UL mints. So, locators will use some locators, guys, for locating this UL mints, and these locators will then be passed to Selenium so that with the help of this locator, Selenium can find this UL mints on the web pages. Now, guys, coming to this video course, I explained every, each and every locator in detail, guys, and before. Even going to the locators, I explained all the prerequisites that are required for understanding these locators. Like uh, maybe some example is like HTML basics. Okay, HTML basics are required for understanding the different types of locators. Uh, all these HTML basics that are required for understanding the locators are already explained in this video course. You don't have to go anywhere, guys. You can start with zero, guys, and uh, you don't have to have any any knowledge about anything. Okay, simply blindly start this course, understand these locators, and there are some. Lot of examples I have given for this XPath expressions and CSS selectors locators, guys, that no one can cover. It's a complete Bible or complete uh, reference for you for these locators. This video course will form as a complete reference for and learning locators. You don't have to go anywhere, guys. Okay, everything is explained in a single place with good number of examples for your for making your understanding of locators better. Okay, so guys, I wish you all the best. See you in the video course, guys. Thank you. Bye.